Hey guys, it's Matt from Chaparral Motorsports. Today we are going to take a look at the all new 2016 Bell Pro Star and Race Star full face helmets. Let's check these things out. So here with me I have the all new 2016 Bell Race Star and Pro Star full face helmets. Now Bell has actually come out with an all new Star series which consists of three helmets. You have your Star which is more street oriented, it's made with a little different material and it's also way more affordable. And then you have the Pro and Race Star. These are specifically designed for track use. That's where you're going to see the biggest benefit out of these. The only difference between these two is that the Pro Star utilizes the TechStream carbon fiber and is the only helmet on the market to use such a high tech material. This is the same stuff that's used in Formula One race cars, NASCARs, high performance sailboats. I mean, this thing is completely exotic, but it has a ton of benefit. For one, it's 20% lighter than your conventional carbon fiber. The weave of the carbon is much flatter, which reduces the amount of material used, and it also creates less peaks and valleys for resin to fill, which again reduces weight. So that's what you're getting when you go with the Pro Star, and that is the biggest difference between the two. So keep that in mind. This is for the extreme pro racer that's looking for every advantage that he or she can get when cost is no object. So we're going to push this off to the side just for now, and we're going to focus on all the features on the Race Star helmet. This is made with 3K carbon. It's still premium, it's high grade, it's very lightweight. These helmets are DOT and Snell rated for safety, and might I add that all of the three helmets share the same platform, so you're just going to see the different bells and whistles as you go up the chain. Intermediate internal head shape most common, it's going to fit most people, and what's really going to help out with the fit is the flex system that we saw come out on the Bell Moto 9. We'll get more into the flex system in just a bit. You will have five exterior shell sizes, so extra small, small, medium, and large. They're all going to have their own size, and then extra large and double X are going to share one. That's going to give you a more proportional fit, a more custom fit, and also help out with the weight savings. However, you have six EPS sizes throughout that range, so again, a more custom fit. I measure 56 and a half centimeters. So if you look at Bell's size chart, that's gonna put me right in between a small and a medium. I would definitely order a medium because how snug this helmet fits. Now moving on to the face shield. This is made with a high grade polycarbonate which results in class one optical clarity. This is going to help reduce strain on the rider's eyes, keeping the rider more focused and of course reducing fatigue. Another big thing that they paid attention to was to increase the visibility of this helmet. When you're in the full tucked position, you're going to be looking out toward the top of the helmet. So what they've done is rotated the EPS liner back, they've increased the height of the viewport and also widened it. So you're going to get better vertical straight line view as well as better lateral view and they've notched out the back of the eye port here to give you 17 percent more peripheral view which is really going to come in handy when you are in the full tucked position and it's going to be great for when you are head checking now with this being a full-blown race helmet you're not going to see any detents within the range of motion of the base plates it's either fully open or fully closed with that being said, you do have a position down here where you can crack it and get a little extra ventilation through. But when you are on the track, you're going to want to lock your shield. So that's right in the center. With this tab, it's very easy to get to with the left or right hand. And what I really want to mention now are the base plates themselves. They are spring loaded, so when you bring it down into the closed position, you'll see that it sucks the shield back toward the helmet, resting against that gasket. This is going to create an airtight seal and also prevent elements from coming inside, which is really nice because it reduces the overall wind noise. Now, the quick release mechanism, the easiest that I've seen on the market yet. You have a button in the center, you push it and push forward. This is extremely easy to do. You can do it while you have the helmet on your head and it's gonna make shield changes much easier while you're at the track. The shield that you see here is the dark smoke. This is an option. What you will get in the box is a clear shield installed on the helmet. There's tons of other colors to choose from. There's iridium, there's mirrored, there's pinlock ready shields, but you will notice that they are tear off post ready. So that's a little added value there. The ventilation on this helmet is extremely nice. You have an open and closed vent on the chin bar, which is going to draw air in through the front, across the face shield, which then will reduce any kind of fogging and then make its way throughout the rest of the helmet. Now you have a plug on the inside, which you can remove to get direct airflow to the rider's face and won't be diverted through the rest of the helmet. So that's extremely nice in keeping you cool. 
You have an open and close brow vent, open and close top scoop, again, bringing that air into the front of the helmet, and then your series of exhaust vents to create that vacuum to pull that hot, moist air out of the helmet. And it's also gonna channel all the way through to the bottom. So very nice ventilation scheme. And the flex system really plays a part in that because those pieces to the liner are segmented and creates natural channels. So again, very nice ventilation scheme on this helmet. The other thing that I wanna bring up is that this helmet is so well ventilated, it's also extremely quiet, so you get the best of both worlds. Very nice aspect as far as a performance standpoint goes. Now let's make our way into the interior of this helmet. There's a lot going on here. First off, check out this neck roll. This is extremely comfortable, but it's also gonna give you a tighter seal against your neck to reduce wind noise. It also comes included with the chin skirt, and you will notice that the chin skirt has a bit of deflection on it to help break up the air to be more aerodynamic. Now the material of the liner and neck roll is made from a company called Virus. Now they specialize in compression gear to help manage moisture and also heat. They infuse jade in the material, which has a natural cooling effect and can reduce skin temperature up to 10 degrees. Now that's extremely important in keeping the rider cool and focused on the ride. And of course it has all the antimicrobial properties, moisture wicking properties, it's fully removable and washable. And now they've incorporated the Magnafusion cheek pads into this helmet. This is straight from the Moto 9. You have magnets on the inside, which help release the cheek pads very easily, especially in the emergency situation. So they pop right in and pop right out. I love this system that they have here. And that also follows true with the uh, chin strap here. You have the Magnafusion technology as well. Now, as for the liner, it removes extremely easy. You have two snaps in the back, and then you have your, your forehead snaps all the way up toward the top of the crown, which is gonna relieve any kind of hot spot on the forehead. So it's very comfortable. You'll never feel these snaps. And then just take a look at the cut of this. It's all 3D molded, so you're gonna get a great fit. It's all perforated, and also there's mesh included. So again, better airflow, more comfort. Now on the inside of this helmet, I mentioned the flex system. Now this was released on their Moto 9. We saw that technology come out not too long ago. Now this is the first helmet to have that same uh, technology incorporated into a street version. So the liner is a progressive energy management system. There's three different layers to address every single crash scenario that you can come across. You have your high speed, mid speed, and low speed. They all come together, they all work together as one, but they're gonna address any kind of scenario you could come across. It's also gonna help to reduce rotational forces, which reduces brain trauma because those liners are segmented into six different pieces. So as you can see, they've incorporated a ton of new technology into the new Star Series collection of helmets. Remember the only difference between the Pro Star and Race Star is that this one utilizes a high performance TechStream carbon fiber shell and is 20% lighter, but more expensive, just over a thousand bucks for this model. We went over the main features of these helmets. For more info, you can visit us at shapmoto.com. We just wanted to highlight the key points to give you a better idea of what it is that you're getting. So again, head to the site shapmoto.com to see your entire size range and color options. And don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching. I'm Matt, and we'll see you next time.